Right, okay, so part two on thirds, we're gonna have a look at multiplying with thirds today. So just like before, grab yourself a piece of paper, grab yourself a pen, uh, and make some notes on these examples, because in a sec, I've got four questions for you to have a go at. So you're gonna to wanna to make some, exam uh, some, some notes on these examples. So I've got two questions here. First one on the left, we've got root five times root five. Now we treat this in a similar way uh, to we do with just normal times tables. So root five times root five, we'll times together to make root 25, just like five times five makes 25, root five times root five makes the square root of 25, okay? Now this is an interesting one, I've picked this one first because you'll notice that the square root of 25 is actually a whole number, isn't it? It's the answer is there, five. So when you times a root by itself, or the same two roots together, you end up with just the whole number. Okay, so there's our first one. On to the next one, simplify root 15 times root three, or 15 times three is 45. So that equals root 45, okay? But just like in our last video here, we just have to have a look to see, does the square root of 45 actually simplify? So looking at our square numbers again, one, four, nine, 16, 25, and hopefully you'll notice there that nine goes into 45. So I can write the square root of 45 as the square root of nine multiplied by the square root of five. The square root of nine is three, so three times the square root of five, and then we can just write that as three root five there for our final answer, okay? So although it's quite nice and simple to actually multiply these, you do still need to be aware of can it, can it be simplified in that final step, okay? Right, a few more to have a look at. Okay, so slightly different question here. We've got numbers in front of the roots. So when we are multiplying thirds like this, the numbers at the front will multiply numbers at the front, and the third part will still multiply the third part. Okay, so this two will multiply that four, like that, and the third will multiply the third. Okay, so two times four is eight, and root three times root five is root 15. And then a quick check, does root 15 go any smaller? One, four, nine. Nope, none of those numbers go into 15. So eight root 15. There we go. On to our last one before you have a go. Okay, so three root six times two root three. Let's have a look at this one. So numbers multiply numbers. So two times three is six. And the third multiplies the third. So root six times root three is root 18. Okay, so nine goes into root 18. So on this one, again, just like before, ignore the six. So just the root 18 part we can simplify to start with. Root 18 is root nine times root two, which is three root two or three times root two. And then reintroducing that six there because we've got six lots of root 18, so it's six lots of three root two, and that is 18 root two to finish that off. Right, there we go, so I'm gonna flick to four questions, you're gonna have a go, so here they are. Okay, so pause the video there, and I will go over the answers in a sec. Okay, here we go then, so the answers for this, so root 10 times root two is root 20, uh, root 20 simplifies, it's root four times root five. Okay, which becomes two root five. Onto the one below, root seven times root seven is root 49, which is seven. Two root seven times five root three becomes 10 root 21. 21 doesn't simplify, so 10 root 21. And the final one there, three times two is six, root 15 times root three is root 45, and hopefully you recognize that root 45 does simplify, so ignoring the six, that becomes root nine times root five. Root nine times root five is three root five, and then reintroducing that six, we will have six lots of three root five, which gives us a final answer of 18 root five. There we go, and there are our four answers. Okay, so what we're gonna have a look at next is multiplying with thirds, but when they're in a bracket. So a question like this, and again, please do write this one down. So root six times root five is 
5 root 6 and then root 6 times 2 root 3 and uh, don't forget there is a 1 in front of this 1 root 6 okay we don't actually write it in but the, we can imagine it there to help us with this multiplication so copy that plus symbol 1 times 2 is 2 and then root 6 times root 2 is root 12 okay so again we just do need to check do we any of these actually simplify actually yes they do 2 root 12 does simplify because root 12 is root 4 times root 3. Now I'm going to do this just to the side. So I'm going to simplify 2 root 12 over here. So root 12 is root 4 root 3, root 4 times root 3, which is 2 root 3. And again, we've got two lots of that. So two lots of 2 root 3, 2 root 2. Oh, I've written root, three, root 2 there. We need to get rid of that. There we go, 2 root 3, um, which is 4 lots of root 3. There we go, so 4 lots of root 3. Okay, so we have 5 root 6, add 4 root 3 as our final answer. Okay, neither of these combine, that is our final answer just there. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, so similar sort of process. We've got root three times root three, which is root nine or three. Okay, if you want to write that out as root nine first, you can do. And then copy that symbol, minus. And then root three times two root five becomes, let's remember it's a one at the front, so one times two is two. And then root three times root five is root 15. Okay, and then obviously this root nine simplifies. So we have three minus 2 root 15, and root 15 does not simplify. Okay, so slight differences in those questions. Again, they can all be very different, but just applying those same multiplication skills that we've done earlier in the question to any of these. So again, I've got four questions for you to have a go at, and here they are. So again, please do pause the video there, and I'll go over these answers in just a sec. Okay, so answers for these. The first one, two times root three is two root three. Copy the symbol, root 3 times root 5 is root 15, and they don't simplify, so that'd be final there. Question below, 4 times root 5 is 4 root 5. Copy the symbol, and then root 3, uh, sorry, 3 root 2 times root 5 is 3 root 10. There we go, and root 10 doesn't simplify either. On to the next one, root 2 times root 2 is 2, or root 4, I'm just going to write 2, take away. Root 2 times 3 root 5 is 3 root 10. And that doesn't simplify either. And on to the last one, root 3 times root 6 is root 18. And then root 3 times 2 root 3 is 2 root 9. Okay, here's an interesting one then. So the square root of 18 is root 9 times root 2 which is 3 root 2, there we go, so we've simplified the first part, and 2 root 9, well that's 2 lots of 3, root 9 is 3 isn't it, so it's 2 times 3 this bit, plus 2 times 3, which is 6, so it's 3 root 2 plus 6. Okay, and there's the answer to those four. Now one last little question for you to have a go at just to review all of this, just slightly similar to the one earlier in the question. So here's your last question to have a go at, and there it is. Okay, so pause the video. Again, I'm going to go over the answer to this one. Okay, here we go. So 5 times 3 is 15, and root 2 times root 2 is root 4. So we get 15 root 4. The square root of 4 is 2, so it's 15 times 2, and 15 times 2 is 30. So as you can see on a lot of these, sometimes we get whole numbers, sometimes we get thirds in our answer, sometimes we get answers that look completely different to ones that we've seen before, okay? But just stick with the process and you should be absolutely fine. But that is multiplying thirds, okay? So part three is going to be on expanding double brackets. Again, if you like this video, if it's helpful, please like, please comment, please subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.